Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Eleni and I've been invited by Kerno Craft to show you how to make a wishbone ring. So to start things off, we're going to need some sterling silver wire, D-shape wire. It can be any size of your choice, but for this video, I'll be using three by two millimeters. You'll also need a saw blade, a ruler, a file, a ring mandrel, and you also need some pliers if you choose to use those and also some tweezers, some flux and also your torch and lastly we'll be using some hard solder. We'll also need some flat nose pliers with nylon jaws. For tidying up the ring we'll need to use a needle file and we'll also be using these emery sticks in 500 and 1200 grit. For polishing the ring, I'll be using Tripoli and Red Rouge with my Dremel. You can also use 3M radial discs, it's up to now you. Now that we know all the tools and materials needed, we now need to measure our ring blank. So to do this, we need to take the inner diameter and the metal thickness and times it by pi. So for the wishbone ring, uh, depending on how you want the V, whether it's a sharp V or a softer V, uh, depends how much millimetres you'll be adding on. So for example, I'm going to be making a size UKR. So I take the inner diameter, which is 18.61, and I'm going to plus it with the metal thickness, which is two millimetres. And that gives me 20.61 and I'm going to times that by pi, which gives me 64.7, but I'm going to round it up to 65. Add 9 millimeters, and this will give me my total length. So I'm going to begin by waxing my saw blade and sawing through our D-shaped wire. I'm then going to use the file to file down the ends of each side of the wire. Now that we have our ring blank, we now want to file the D side of the ring and just get it nice and even and smooth on each side and it should look something like this. So now it's time to start shaping the ring. So we're going to take our ring blank and we're going to take the D-shaped side and wrap it around our mandrel so that the two ends that we filed down can meet. Now we want to make sure that once we bring the two edges together that they are flush against each other, as you can see. Now, something that I like to do just to make sure that they are completely flushed against each other is just to saw through that. It's now time to make the ring. So we're going to flux the join and add our hard solder onto the join we've just fluxed, like this. It's now time to solder the ring together. So we're gonna take our torch and take our time and slowly heat up the ring until the solder melts. So we're going to pickle the ring until it's nice and clean and once we take it out it should look something like this ready to be filed down. Taking our needle file we're going to file down that join and make sure it's all nice and smooth and there's no sharp bits and take our 500 grit and do the same. And then we're going to take our 1200 grit and do the same again just to make sure everything is nice and smooth and there's no sharp edges. We're now going to shape the ring on our mandrel using our rawhide mallet and make sure you rotate the ring on each side to make sure the ring is nice and even. Now it's time to form the V. So to do that, we take a look at the ring and see where it would naturally close if we had made a full ring. And we're going to mark it and that's where we're going to use our pliers so we can bend that and create a nice V shape. Don't worry if you don't manage to get it right the first time, it does take a while. Once you've done that, you should have a nice V shaped ring and to just finish it all off, we're just going to hammer it on our mandrel one last time to make sure it's all nice and even and round. Now when it comes to polishing, it really is down to the individual and what you prefer, but I really like using Tripoli and Red Rouge, so I'm just using Tripoli on the ring right now. Once I've cleaned that, I'm going to use Red Rouge on the ring as well, and then clean that up. You can use warm soapy water or you can put it into the tumbler. 
So here is my finished wishbone ring and here is another example I made just to show you the two together. And here is what it looks like on. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial video and if you liked what you saw you can follow us at Asimi Studio and if you do want to make a wishbone ring you can head over to Kono Craft to buy all the tools and materials needed to make this ring. Bye!